Islamist extremists had controlled Benghazi in Libya's east until late last year, when troops began battling them for control of the country's second largest city. An army field commander in Benghazi says his troops are committed to fighting the militias and have no intention of leaving the front line. And he's also hinting that soldiers could take on the Islamic State that also controls parts of Libya's east. The Islamic militias think that if they chop heads off, it will scare us. We would like to tell them that we are not scared. We are here to stay and we are patient. We pray for victory. Libya is split between two rival governments. The troops in Benghazi are loyal to the elected and internationally recognized parliament, which has been forced to relocate to the eastern city of Tobruk, as Tripoli has been overrun by Islamic and tribal militias. IS militants are a third complication in the country. On Friday, their suicide bombers targeted the eastern Libyan town of Kuba, killing at least 40 people. The group says the killings were revenge attacks against Egyptian airstrikes. Cairo approved those strikes after IS militants released a video of the beheadings of 21 Egyptian nationals. Clementine Logan, CCTV.